Right, um, this is part two of the of the jetting videos. Um, part one was to get the idling sorted, and now your your car idles fine and everything. And now you want to accelerate. You want to press your accelerator and you want to drive, and you hopefully want to do that without a without a a, a, a flat spot. Um, and that's where your your accelerator pump and your emulsion tubes come in. Um, your idle circuit doesn't work anymore now, and, and I'll prove that to you quickly. So this carby that's on my vehicle now, I'm just testing it. That's why there's no accelerator links and stuff on. It's a 32 DIR. Um, it comes with Renaults and Alphas and other cars. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it and let it idle. I'm going to pull off the idle electric idling jet. That will close the idle jet, and you'll see it'll die. Then I'll start it again, and I'll rev it up a little bit. Um, and I'll pull it off and you'll see it'll keep on running. So, which means as soon as you open the butterfly a little bit, your idle circuit doesn't work anymore. Right, so as you saw there, um, as soon as I took the wire off the electric idling jet, it closes the idle jet and it gets no fuel. Um, it's an anti-dieseling device on, on these carbs, quite nice. And then as soon as you rev it up a little bit and I pull the wire off, idle circuit doesn't do anymore. It doesn't do anything. It, you don't need it anymore. Um, but you, the, the, you need to get from idle to, to be able to accelerate. And that's where a lot of cars have a flat spot, a big old flat spot. And that flat spot is down to jetting and down to your accelerator pump. Your accelerator pump also comes in different sizes. Um, I'll, I've got a carby there uh, that's completely open and I'll show you how all that works and, and, and change the sizes and, and, and all of that. So here's a half open carby. It's one that I'm busy rebuilding. Um, I've got a new pump diaphragm in, pump diaphragm goes there, there's a little non-return ball valve in there, and that little non-return ball valve in there, and that there is the spray pump, the, the nozzle, the jet, if you would like to call it that, they come in all different shapes and sizes, and the idea is that when you start, let me just get this in, in view, when you, when you press the accelerator, that it pumps, and it sprays fuel, you can see this one is a little hesitant, it doesn't do it. See there. So that's very important. So there's obviously something wrong with this. I know what the problem is. And um, you've got to address it. Otherwise you will have a flat spot. And you can change jetting however you want. You will always have a flat spot. And the problem is over here. These carbs has got a, a, a power valve system. Which works with the same circuit. So how this works is uh, at, at low vacuum conditions, that spring inside there uh, uh, um, compresses, uh, uh, relaxes, and it sprays fuel through that same nozzle into the into the carby. Uh, but this one leaks, you can see there. So that little, I'm actually going to block this off, um, but that diaphragm must be replaced. That's why this one is leaking. So because of that, you don't have a decent spray on your accelerator pump. Um, so that's got to be have a nice spray on it so okay the leaking diaphragm is sorted now when you touch the accelerator you can see it pumps straight away spray straight away see there nice 
even spray every time. So when you at a traffic light you know, and pull away, press your throttle, boom, there's your fuel. These come in different sizes, I'll show you that in a sec. So I took that one out. And that one is a 50. I don't know if you can see the 50 on it. That's a 50. This spare one I had was also a 50. And these are from the 36 DCD7. That's a 70. And that's also a 70. So they come 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and I think a 75. So if you've got a if your spray pump works properly like this garbage did, and you still have a bit of a flat spot when you pull away, you just put a bigger size in. Um, this is a 50, you'll then go for a 55 or a 60 um, till your flat spot goes away. But it also goes, that, that's, that's when you, the minute you press the accelerator. So there's, there's a lot of things that work together with that. And the next thing that comes into play is the emulsion tube. You must remember, at low RPM, with your auxiliary venturis, these are not in, but with the auxiliary venturis, there's not enough air to suck the fuel from the fuel bowl up through the jets, through there, into the choke. There's not enough, um, there's not enough flow for that. So, so to get from idling to where there's enough flow for that to happen, um, that's where your accelerator pump comes in. So, okay, let me try and explain this a little better or a little different. <clears throat> you, you've got a few stages in your car. You've got idle, you've got progression from idle to starting to accelerate where your emulsion tubes and your auxiliary venturis don't have enough flow yet to get the fuel through. Um, and that's where the accelerator pump comes in. So just as you saw in that, in that little clip, uh, just as you touch the accelerator, that's where the pump, accelerator pump sprays. And that takes that flat spot there away. But you could also have a flat spot just after that because the accelerator pump don't spray forever. So when your accelerator pump doesn't spray anymore and you're far away with the accelerator throttle position from your idling circuit, that's now where the next stage comes in with your venturis and your jets and so on. Um, but yes, accelerator pump, extremely, extremely, extremely important. Um, make sure it works properly. Make sure it sprays enough, not too much, not too little. If it sprays too much, you'll have a bit of a splatter. If it sprays too little, you'll have that hesitation when you pull away so yes that that that's that i hope this helps someone good luck